Hey guys, Mohan Popper here and today we're going to talk about how to get focused. Let's get to it. So, hey, my name is Mohan Popper and I'm here to share and document my journey in business. I'm here to talk about what I think are the most important things for you to focus on. And today the focus is focus. And this is all based on your question. So, how do you get focused? Now, in the end of the day, to be successful at something, to get results, which is what we're here to talk about, it's about getting you focused on a few fundamentals. Now, when you're young, the situation is maybe a bit different because you want to try things until you find that one thing that you want to focus on. You want to try different business opportunities, maybe you want to try different partners. Uh, everything in life, you got to try, I guess, different things until you find the one thing that you're good at or you want to get good at or that you just, I guess, feel the most inspired to be at. Now, what I found best on my experience that it's not about finding what you like. It's more about literally learning to like that one thing that you are willing to put the time in and the focus on because in the end of the day whatever you're doing in life you'll find ways to get bored from it if that makes sense i think it's about finding that one thing that's going to get you to your goals the fastest and then eventually learning to like that process by literally changing your internal beliefs around that because you'll have challenges everywhere you'll have challenges if you do this or that and nothing is easy in life like life is very simple but it's not easy and it's about doing things again and again and again and, and changing your perspective about things many times so you get to like it now getting focused in the end of the day is very important because otherwise you'll be overwhelmed with too many opportunities and you can never get results at things and you don't have to be focused if all you care about is the knowledge and education and having a lot of info in your mind but if you want to get results it's about staying focused so for me, for example, specifically, it's about more revenues, more profits and better lifestyle and ideally a better impact as well on others. So how can I find one thing that will give me all of those four things in the fastest ways? For me personally, I found that buying businesses is the fastest way because it's going to give me all of those four things. Lifestyle is there because I can put it management team in place. Revenues is there obviously because we buy the existing profitable businesses like our minimum size of deal is business doing one million a year in sales. So obviously we can... Um, get the revenues part and the profits obviously it's all about over time you can get the business more profitable if you have the right fundamentals of business and impact is there because you're impacting employees customers um, business sellers as well because you're helping them basically get you get, getting them many times for example a better retirement plan um, many times those businesses are really they, they have something going on in their families for example and they want to leave that business and so you're giving them that opportunity so for me, that's what I found out that works for me. And you need to find out what works best for you. What do you want to focus on? What is that one thing? And then I think the next stage is about finding the habits, the daily habits that will get you closer to those goals as soon as possible. And then it's about learning to love those habits over time. And the way to learn to love habits is about, and there's a book about it there. I think the name is The, the Habit um, Effect or something like that. And it's about... The, the, the book is all about understanding the fact that every habit that you want to have in life, you can learn to love it. And all it's all about the, the cue and the reward. So you need to learn to find a way to remind you that you're going to start that habit. And then when you have a reward after you do that habit, that's how you learn to love it. So, uh, for example, for me personally, I remember um, doing things in, in the first that were kind of like outside of my, my comfort zone that I didn't really like. I find a way to make them, make myself like them more. But for example... For example, by giving me a small chocolate piece after doing that habit for a few hours, for example. And when you get used to it, your mind starts to like that habit and getting those results. For example, in the space of buying businesses, maybe you don't like to write letters to business owners or you don't like to talk to business owners. Reward yourself after everything like that by giving yourself like a one piece of chocolate, chocolate and eventually your mind will basically think hey when i'm doing this i'm becoming i'm feeling better because i'm getting that chocolate and over time when it becomes a habit you won't need that chocolate anymore because you'll just learn to love that that habit that action because your mind is already waiting for that reward so i hope that makes sense so it's all about thinking first of all about your goal then think about the habits that will get you to that goal eventually and then it's about learning to love those habits when you know that you love those habits, those day-to-day activities, you'll eventually get the results and you'll get focused and there's, you won't have reasons to look outside for other things because you already love what you're doing 
and you're getting results, the more you do one thing again and again and again, you'll get results. It's inevitable. If you have, especially if you have the mentorship and support around you, you'll get the results and it's about doing those things again and again. So that's, that's what you should focus on. Getting, thinking about your results, thinking about these habits that you want to get those results and then learning to love those habits. Now, again, in business, you can do it two ways. You can start a business from scratch or you can buy one existing one and that's what we do. If you want to learn more about that, go to morantware.com forward slash talk and see the details there. Um, that's how we buy existing businesses and grow existing businesses by acquisitions. Um, so yeah, go ahead and learn about that over there. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. And let me know in the comments below what is your goal for the next few years and what are the habits that you think will get you there. And I promise I'll look at them and I'll apply to myself. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And see the links in the description below as well for free value and access to our group and all that stuff. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.